Welcome everybody back to another episode of Star Wars Days of the Republic. We are back in the droid shop with Luke Yukalaka. But we're only here to buy HK. I think the minimum you can go is 2500. <laughs> New party member. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Statement. I... We have the amazing HK droid, so Tifa, you're out. HK, you're in. And we're gonna spend some time leveling you up. So he's a combat droid, so he's got really high strength, oddly enough. And a nice little dexterity thing, but mostly strength, but I don't think he can actually use... He can't actually use melee weapons, so I don't know why he has strength. I don't, I, I don't get that. Right, so we're gonna have to level you up quite a bit so you can get the stuff that you need, which is going to be. I need to have security. Um, security may be good. Android upgrade crash two. That's decent. Let's work on your dexterity because you are literally just dexterity. That's all you need. Um, do I want to give him two weapon fighting? That's a good question. I need them to get Droid Upgrade Class 3, I need them to get, oof, plus 6 to defense, that would be good. He's got a focus with blaster rifles, so I think I'm just going to keep him on with blaster rifles. Um, and we will give him, I think we'll focus on giving him, uh, Master Power Blast, I think we'll go that way for him. Just give him lots of security and lots of repair. Oh, and that's it, that's all I can give you, damn. Now let's give you that, which gives you weapon focus with Blaster Pistol as well. Um, let's actually give you the, let's actually give you this, or those repeating Blaster. Advanced Stun Relay and a Flamethrower, and Droid Heavy Plating, and Advanced Computer Tool. And I am happy with that, HK. Now let's talk to HK because it's a new party member, come on! Go talk to a new party member! Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. Observation. I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meatbag, as are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. Caution, shh, master. Such a function in a droid is highly illegal. Commentary. Good, for I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap, master. That would be a waste of my genius engineering. Answer. My assassination functions are currently non-functional, having been deactivated by the meatbag Yukalaka on Tatooine. Were they functional, you as my master would be able to specify a target, and I would operate independently to the best of my ability to terminate it. Answer. Not that I know of, master. I still possess all my normal combat and stealth abilities, however. Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. Answer. 
Simply tell me that you would... Observation. My physical ability... As you desire... Statement. Affirmative. Request. I... Statement. Now close the last panel. Supplication. Perhaps it would be best... As you decide. Oh, I didn't unmute the thing. Maybe if I get a Zalbar. He has high repair, right? Zalbar has high repair. Can I use Zalbar's repair skill to do it? I don't think so. Nah, it needs to be... Needs to be me. So I don't actually think I'll be doing that. Right, so let's take our new HK, and we're going to take Johanny. And we're going to go into the Eastern June Sea. I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, so what, something I wanted to mention. This area right here, just outside Anchorhead, is actually an amazing place to farm for experience. Now, the reason is, is because there's usually, there's always usually a pack of four desert raids in this area and they will always be here and what you can do is you can come out you can kill them and each one of them drops I think it's like 550 experience so you can get 500 experience 550 experience from each one times that by four you're looking at 2000 experience per pack and then if you get banged up you just go over to your map and you go return to Ebon Hawk and that automatically heals you and then you go back to your map and it says transit back which means you can go back to the area that you return to the Ebon Hawk from which means you can infinitely spawn and heal and get a lot of experience and also desert raid plates which you can sell for a measly sum of 24 credits but there's also something else I want to do something interesting that I've noticed I have a lot of sand people clothing so if you do this and dress up as a sand pe sand people, and then say we decided. Oh, and I also 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 should give you an Achani shield. If we go then talk to the miners, I wonder what the miners have to say about the sand people coming and talking to them. I wonder. I think this will go very well with them. Oh no! Look, they're instantly hostile. Now we get to murder them! There we go, we got like 80 experience points from that, it was totally worth it. 100% worth it. We dressed up as sand people specifically just to kill the miners. We are totally evil. Right, so now I think the only thing we've got left to do really is progress over to the East Sea. Which is over here. There's some desert raids over there. I would just sit and farm the desert raids continuously, but I don't want to level up too quickly. I don't want all my level ups to be done with already automatically with the first planet. Can we travel back? We can still. We cannot travel back to the Ebon Hawk at this time. The Dewbacks are not something you can hunt, sadly. So we can't hunt the Dewbacks. Which is odd, I would think that you would be able to hunt the Dewbacks, but there's only really one thing that we really need to do here in the Eastern June Sea. There is not much here. It is Tatooine after all. Right, see a corpse? Is that a corpse? No, it's nothing. Oh, there's one thing we need to do, and that one thing is all the way over here. I wonder how this is going to play out, because we were really nasty to this guy in the hunting lodge, because we're evil, and of course we are. So I wonder how this is going to play out. 
Actually, I don't think I should. I can't change party. Maybe should not. Maybe I've not got the best party for this. But I guess we'll find out. I'm tired of waiting, Comed. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. Well, that was stupid. ちくんいだはどんがいきんこのばもれちょっとばどわににぼぼどんなぶんしゃくのんやどんぶどんなぶんしゃくのんやどんぶどんなぶんしゃくのんやどんぶどんなぶんしゃくのんやどんぶど
Where's my shields? Do I not have any shields here anymore? Have I used them all up? I've used all my shields up. Yes, got both of them with that. Perfect. Perfect. Got that insanity going there. Awesome. Right, we did it. We managed to beat the sand people. They were tough. But we managed. I think that's the last one of them. Achuta. Uh, um, everybody's quite hurt. Your wish? I'm here. Well, let's drop a save again. Um, because we've got another tough fight coming up. Well, we managed that one quite well. What are you, ma? Wama ho ho na. Jedo ba do wana ni di bobo. Dong na bungsha do nunya. Dong ba tu kashmak. Ka chi kun ida hao donga. I king kuno ba mule ra chi kun. Slimo po do na. After all this hunter has done to help us, you turn on him. This is a disgusting display, even for you. Muchashak pakhat. Kiye no no dama paole rachikun. Jedo ba do wana ni di bobo. Dong na bungsha do nunya. Dong ba tu kashmak. Ke puna! Kawa do pa ku palea muka bata! Preparing blasters, master. This should be fun. Ah, HK, you get me. HK, you're the only one that really understands me, aren't you? Ah, how I love being dark side sometimes. And we get a great dragon peril for that, which is a very, very, very valuable lightsaber gem. And if we do this. We should be getting another Crete Dragon Peril. Do I already have two? Yes, alright, we already have two. Damage plus two and attack plus three. That is very good. Very good. But before... Oh, should I... I really don't want to do it. Fine, we'll go and do this. This episode, let's do it. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Oh, because you guys know... 
You guys know what's coming next, don't you? Oh, a Jedi Master robe! <clears throat> I need to take it for the defense bonus, I'm sorry. Violet crystal, that's great because I want a violet crystal. For my red and purple lightsabers, that's my combo I'm going for. An Apila crystal, amazing. What does an Apila crystal do actually? Damage plus three, massive criticals as well! That's fantastic! A nerve amplifier belt. Immunity to mind affecting. Wow, that's also a really good belt. We got really good um, drops from in here. I should probably equip my arm, oh, but I lose my saves. I'll give the nerve amplifier. I really like my saves and my strength. Here's a star map. The star map, even after all the thousands of years it has been here, it still has tremendous power. Can you not feel it? This star map is an artifact of the dark side. The Craig Dragon may have been drawn here by its dark power, only to be enslaved by it. Come, we should leave this place. There is nothing else for us here. Right, let's leave. I'm sure nothing as bad is going to happen. Yeah, I'm gonna save here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. I hope I am, but who knows. I have to give you credit. You've led me on quite a chase. But nobody gets away from Callow Nord in the end. You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way this time. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. I am not confident in this. You, I'm changing your script. You're now a Grenadier. And I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> Oh, I'm so nervous for this fight, it's just warm for some reason. I need to insanity everyone! Do I have anything? I, keep, I have an advanced med pack, thank god. Right, leave him just now, take care of this guy. Johanny, you need to level up right now. And give yourself... Give yourself... Yeah, give yourself night speed. And can you actually put use that? No, your force is depleted. Oh, he's immune to. He's immune to that. There we go. That was a tough fight, but we did it. Let's level you up, HK.
Well, that's a pretty disappointing level up, actually. Yes. Well, we did it. Kalinor is dead. It was a tricky fight, but we made it. And that is pr almost Tatooine done. Two thousand credits, I will take it. And we got two Mandalorian heavy pistols and Kalinor's battle armor. Let's have a look at what his battle armor looks like. It's pretty sweet. And two Mandalorian heavy pistols, that is a really good drop there. Really tempted to give that to you doing 312 plus 14. That's 613 on plus that, yeah, that's already a lot better. That's a lot better than what you were doing with the repeating blaster, so I've got to give you that. Yes. What? And that's going to be, oh, more remains. And I think that's all for this area. What do I have left to do? Oh, I don't really have anything to do on Tatooine. Well, I guess next episode we will um, leave Tatooine, I guess. And we'll go to the next planet. I guess. Come and find out what we're going to do next time. Because I sure as hell don't know. <laughs>